Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel. Tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. So I saw the report by um, Nate Eaton over at East Idaho News about the storage, you know, place where um, Lori Lori Daybell, Lori Vallow, basically abandoned a bunch of stuff. Hasn't been there in a while. This is yeah, this is it. And uh, I'm not necessarily going to play this video. It's a great report, you know. Nate Eaton's been all over this, as well as his, uh, you know, somebody else from East Idaho News, Eric Grossarth, I think is his name. So, I mean, the big thing is what he's what he's pulling out of the, uh, basically, it's about the storage facility that Lori, you know, rented and put a bunch of stuff in. The dates aren't super, super important, although I basically, I think they show her going there the 1st and 2nd of October. So that's before Tammy D. Bell is dead. You know, and there's a number of visits, you know, some of them with Lori Daybell there with Alex, what you, we believe is Alex Cox, you know, and then another time where I think it's just Alex Cox and another man, which I, I'm assuming is Chad Daybell, you know, I mean, I, all the different dates and all the visits, you know, you can watch it yourself and because uh, I don't really need to focus on that so much. I think what a lot of people and myself included initially, even though I knew I'm like, there's no way, you know. Uh, when you first look at this, is uh, what he carries out is something, some kind of, I forget what Nate Eaton calls it, something, maybe I'll play it, just so what he, and it's got something hanging out the side, but it almost looks like a pair of legs maybe, but it's not, it's not, dude, no way. Malone once on October 1st, the day she signed the contract and agreed to pay $53 a month. She was driving a blue Nissan Rogue. Lori returned October 2nd and 3rd with a man who appears to be her brother, Alex Cox. His truck is spotted on camera several times during the month. During one visit, the two of them enter the building. The man looks back and forth as Lori opens the unit door. He then removes a heavy tote with something hanging over the end. It's placed in the car. They go back inside the building, and he carries out a tire while she closes the door. Between October's... Heavy tote. That's the word I was looking for. And in other times, he comes out with like those storage containers that you get like at a Lowe's or a Home Depot in the storage section of the uh, whatever, you know. But uh, the two things I wanted to show was that heavy tote, as he calls it, and the tire. And I'm fairly certain that I know what that is. And there's something else that I, um, you know, that I've 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 realized. And I, I'm definitely figuring things out. No doubt, no doubt about it. Um, and uh, I couldn't quite get it, but I think I got it. I got a portion of it. Okay. But that, what I think he's taking out there is. Um, uh, I think it's car seat. You know, I think it's it's basically something that was removed from that vehicle or another vehicle exactly like it, whatever he called it. It's the um, not that, not that either. 2012. But this is uh, the Nissan Rogue, the blue lead Nissan Rogue. It's this. That's what he's carrying out there. It's it's a seat that you know he they they physically. You know, uh, disassembled whatever you need to disassemble to pull that out of the seat, pull that out of the car, as well as the tire. Okay, you know, and I can only presume that they um, there's duplicates of those. Okay, you know uh, that they're using to transport more likely than not, in my opinion, drugs. Okay, inside the seat and inside the tire, and the ones he probably pulled out of the storage facility and put in the uh, and put in the car probably aren't the ones with the drugs in the you know the, the tire and the seat don't have the drugs inside them. They already made whatever delivery they were making from what point A to point B, and I don't know what point A is and I don't know what point B is, but that's what I think they're doing there. I do. And there's another part of the video where he's bringing the tire back in to um, you know in the video. So that I that's what I think is going on. There. 6th and 26th, a man, presumably Cox, visits the storage unit alone five times. Cameras show him dropping off a variety of items, including gun cases. Gun and cases. then on October 28th, two men are seen moving bikes into the unit. During October, the visitors are seen with large, heavy totes. Sometimes they put things There's the tire the again. Unit, There's Lloyd Daybell again. Within days. The last time anyone visits... So 25th, 26th, 28th, by that time, Tammy Daybell is, you know, um, allegedly 
uh, dead. But I have a different theory. And I have a theory that these persons have managed to fake their deaths. And now I'm at the point where I, I basically think it's it's all three. You know, I think it's I think it's Charles Vallow, I think it's Tammy Daybell, and I think it's Alex Cox too. And I couldn't figure it out, but I found I think I, I finally have. So I think they all three have faked their death. I think they're all three alive somewhere. I think the kids are with them right now. Okay, where I have no idea. Okay, I mean God only knows. The network of real estate, um, they could be anywhere, but um, so. There's a couple things that occurred to me, and one of them, I it, it, you know, it did at the time, and I just didn't, I just didn't stick to it, you know, and I and I let it get by me. I totally thought it at the time, and I just let it go, but it's back, came back to me, and not this, even though the same thing, same thing. I let this go too. All right, you know, I've gone over this, and you guys can, you can, you can say whatever you want, okay? I, you know, obviously these two persons have the same features. You know, I, I, I mean, that's the whole point, okay? And um, whoever did this, they used, they used, they used this, um, this video here to go by, okay? I mean, it's kind of hilarious how um, these two pictures, even though they're, they're distinctly different, and not just, I mean, you know, not just different in time, but they both have on Puma shirts with a black back black drop. But the person who did this picture, and it's not that it's doctored. That's not what I'm saying. They used, you know, they used this picture to go by to make this person, okay? This person is a different person. It is a different person. There's three different people that have basically died in place of these people. And they probably had no clue. They're probably all three addicts, all right? And... They have had some kind of plastic surgery that's, and I know that sounds bizarre, but I'm telling you, I, I, this is my theory, and my level of certainty is extremely high, like 99 something high, all right? Um, this person, somebody who resembled him to begin with, you know, somewhat, close enough, and probably has a similar weight and a similar height, I would think, you know? But they've been, they've been, they've gone through plastic surgery to make them look like this person. No doubt about it. I mean, that's how they did it. And, you know, how the, this person's probably a drug addict, a probably severe drug addict on heroin or fentanyl or, or meth or whatever, probably heroin or fentanyl, whatever, you know, and there's probably one, there was one for Charles too. And there was one for Tammy too. Same thing. And that's how, you know, you don't need a, 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 a body double that's, you don't have to worry about time of death and all that because, you know, uh, you know there, there was murder involved, but it was not of their relatives, not of each other. It was of some poor schmo who thought, who knows what story was given to each of these three people. There are drug addicts and you can tell them anything as long as you give them, you know, some more heroin and give them put them in a place where they can do heroin for free forever until it's their time and they don't know it's their time. But that's that's what's going on here, dude. And um, I'm telling you right now, these are I've looked at this and looked at this, and, that, and, and believe me, the people in the comments, you can go ahead and say it's the same person. You're not going to convince me. And uh, I know, I know, I know, I know there's some people in the comments that, you know, it's not a mystery, okay? You know, I mean... To the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, I'm not an attorney though, okay? You know, it's probably not illegal to say things that are not true or false or, you know, lie, mislead people in the comments, you know? And uh, so, but those are not the same person. They're not. He's a big dude, okay? And that's why, I mean, this guy, he looks noticeably different and thinner and he's just different, dude. It just is. And it's not the angle... And it's not, it's the hair is different. Everything there is, it's the, the shape of the head is different. It's different. And it's not different times that's done it. And it's so cute how they, they I don't have like the smaller version of these pictures. I'll bring it up here right now because I kind of zoomed in so that, um, I'll have to zoom back, zoom back out. They've used the same, you know, a picture of somebody in a Puma shirt. You know, with a, ba a black backdrop. But if you'll notice the picture, you can see the lines on it. 
That's from like either a computer screen or a large flat screen TV or something, some kind of monitor. But somebody took a picture of, of a TV screen for some reason, probably to, you know, to, to just conceal even more and just distort and make it more difficult to notice that they're not the same person. Okay. You know, and I don't know where this photo came from. I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, I'm telling you right now, that's, that's, you can, you can see it. I, I do that when I'm, when I'm making videos of the, of the flat screen TV, or if I want to take a picture of this computer, because I'm so super sort of, I don't have high sophisticated editing ability, and I'll take pictures, I make the worst thumbnails and stuff. But when I do it on my screen, I take a picture from my phone on there, you can see the lines and stuff in there, just like you can right there, okay? I mean, even on, it's in, it's in, I mean, where I first saw that picture was in a video from Ab, Adam uh, Herbitz, I believe, if I got that up here. Yeah, I do, right there. And uh, it's right, you know, it's right there, too. In fact, there it's even worse, okay? It's not the same person. And uh, you can say the same, the features are the same and all that. That's the point. You know? And I know, like, the cartels have done this. I mean, you know, they do this stuff, dude. That's how they're doing it. So, and what occurred to me is, um, so I think all three. I don't think, um, I mean, I couldn't figure out, like, why would, uh, you know, I mean, why would he die, the other two? Why would Alex Cox die and uh, the other two get to live? Even though it's just crazy, like, how they thought they would ever get away with this, obviously they've probably, somebody's done it before, you know, I would think. So, um, but what did it for me even more? And I was already, I was already sold once I figured that out, you know, that's it. That's how they did it. And they got, I don't know where his ID is. Like, I don't know where there's a photo of his ID somewhere. It's probably at that storage facility, you know, or somewhere, you know, somewhere, a hotel he stayed at or something, you know, it's got that guy's picture on it. Okay. You know, and uh, and that was the same thing. That was the same thing with Charles Vallow. I was right about that. You know, with the rental car and the hotel he stayed at. I don't know this for sure, and I, and I could be proven wrong. And believe me, there's always an explanation. They got ten different backup explanations for these things. You know, there's lots of people working on this, dude. Okay, you know, these people are pretty damn sophisticated. But I I bet anything that the that the uh, the Gilbert Police Department or the Arizona the Chandler Police Department. Never found his wallet, Charles Vallow's wallet. And they had to go by the ID that was at the hotel where he was staying, a photo of it, you know, that they had at the desk, or or the, uh, similarly to the rental car company that Lori Vallow drove off with, it drove off with, with J.J. and Ty Lee, you know, and, um, and then returned with just, with, with just Ty Lee. And remember, I, 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 I indicated in my other video that, they seemed to emphasize the rental car. It seemed to be important that that was in the story multiple times by both parties, you know, at different, from, to, to, different, to different people, in the divorce documents, in the description to the police officer, you know, and um, it seemed like that's, that was intentional because they wanted them to go there for backup if they didn't have ID to positively ID the guy because they knew he would have a, you know, they'd have a photo of, whatever fake ID they were using of the person, the body double, who had plastic surgery too to make himself look like Charles, you know, and that poor chump, poor soul, you know, whatever, didn't know, you know, he's not being told that you're going to be, you know, at the end of this, he's told him, he's, he's being told he's part of some scam that he's going to get paid on. And he's probably, you know, an addict or a junkie, you know, just an addict, you know, and people who are addicts will do anything for, for more. And that's why Charles, you know, in his, in his last, you know, in the last, you know, a couple years, the last year or so, you know, he shaved head and beard, okay, whereas he used to be the opposite. And actually, when this was all, if this all went to plan, you know, and he emerged back, you know, as somebody else, he would do the, he would, he would lose the beard and grow his hair back. But what, what totally sold it for me? Was was the Lori Vallow? I mean, what's hilarious? They were gonna do this again, dude. They were gonna do it for her, okay? In in Hawaii, you know. I mean, that's why you know this story about you know this story about how they were able to find 
their, where they were renting a property, and I assume there's multiple places they've rented, you know, we already have, we already know about one that they visited on November 7th, I believe it was. So this is even before they did the welfare check on, you know, the welfare check on, on, on uh, JJ and Tylee and they were and JJ and Tylee weren't there, but, uh, Lori, Day, Lori Daybell, Lori Vallow, and Chad Daybell were in Princeville, Hawaii at a different property. Not this resort, not the Kauai Beach Resort, or not the rental property that, that they actually uh, signed a long-term rental agreement with in in, uh, in Princeville, Hawaii, but a different like um, two-bedroom or one-bedroom apartment above something, you know, the old woman who didn't rent to them. And she said they were giddy and in love and all this other stuff, and she looked into them, whatever. That was November 7th. I'm just saying, I think there's probably other places. And so, but what led them to the Princeville property, the nice property, it's like a $700,000 home. I don't have it up here. Actually, there it is right there. That's it. Okay. And uh, I forget the name of the actual, you know, like sort of uh, uh, neighborhood in, inside Princeville where it's located. And they signed a long-term rental agreement uh, uh, for that property. And put, put furniture in there. But then it remained more or less vacant. And the person, the uh, the real estate agent who lived a couple doors down, who Eastside Idaho News talked to, you know, only saw them once or twice. You know, once when he, when he saw them for the first time. And they, don't, they didn't really want to, they weren't real, they didn't want to, you know, get to know you. And they sort of just wanted to keep to themselves. And and uh, and then he saw, and that was like mid-December. And they said, so one more time, January 24th, the day before they were served a warrant to search that place and also, um, you know, served a, a search warrant for their vehicle, the SUV in the parking lot of the Kauai Beach Resort, as well as served, Lori Dave, I was served court papers to forcing him to appear with the two kids in Rexburg within five days. That was on the 25th, 26th of January. On the 24th, that real estate agent, I don't know if he's pictured here or not, um, he saw them one time then too, and they were actually leaving, and he said that they were leaving because it was going to be showed to a potential buyer. It's not terribly important, but what I'm saying to you is um, what led them to this property, the police, is that she had a, a, a copy of her license, uh, and actually a Principal Hawaii license at the beach, Kauai um, Beach Resort. Because she had stayed there earlier. I think it was January 11th or January 10th when they stayed there just for one day. Exactly for exactly for the purpose of getting that photo ID on there, on their, you know, in their system of something to identify her as. And it may be the the the, the other Lori, Va Lori Vallow that they have lying in wait, who's probably a uh, drug addict as well, that looks very similar to her, has probably undergone... And plastic surgery, same thing, okay? And that's why, I mean, like they moved to Hawaii and she gets a license. I mean, that's not an easy, I mean, like, it's doable. And they did it. She did it. She did it as Lori Ryan, her 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 married name um, from the husband before Charles, Joseph Anthony Ryan. But she did it to this address, okay? So she had to do it, you know, right away when they got there. You know, you have to have certain documents to get a driver's license in Hawaii. You need like two different documents one of them if you're going to be just renting you need like a six month term uh, lease you know showing that you're going to be living there at least six months and then one other document you know and 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 they she had been to Princeville um previously not just the November 7th date with Chad but you know back in January February 2019 when she disappeared with Ty Lee and supposedly abandoned Charles and and and, and um JJ you know, what she was doing there, then I would assume similar things, making arrangements and so forth. But that's why, the, you know, that that's it's the same exact, you know, um, model to set up, a, you know, faking the death again. I mean, that's crazy. These people think they can get away with it. I don't know if they're, you know, watching my videos or what. But, and what's, what, what I think the reason, the reason the police... Because they were going there, okay? The reason they were going there to stay there. You know, they were going there to stay there for a couple days. I mean, the police tailed them to this to this place. I don't know if they actually served the search warrant to the other place or not. 
But what I'm what I'm basically basically suggesting is that the reason we found out about the whereabouts of Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow, Lori Daybell, is because it was about to happen again, and you were about to have another dead person who you know. But it wouldn't be Lori Vallow; it would be somebody else. Whoever's photos on that license that looks exactly like Lori Vallow, and so the police had to step in before it happened again. And that's that's it, dude. That's what I'm saying. You know. But here's just real quick. Um, I, I didn't even get to show you these. These are just, you know, uh, screenshots from my phone of Charles Vallow uh, moving this this thing out into the car. And a lot of people are saying, you know, it's a body. You can see that it's a body. And, you know, he knows there's a camera there. I mean, it's it's a seat. It is. It's 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 this, dude. That's, you know, something like that. Pretty sure. You know, and my guess is. Not that one, but the other seat that, that was removed and was already delivered to somewhere, along with the tire that he brings out, not the tire he brings out of the storage facility, but the tire that they delivered somewhere else, both those two items probably were packed full of very valuable uh, drugs. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much the whole story, dude. You know, tire and that thing together going out, tire goes out right after it. I'm fairly certain that that's, that's that other half of that car seat. Something very close to it, you know, that right there. That's the story there, man. That is the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.